I'm really grateful that you all came to this tonight. And the reason we're here is because Mike and uh, Miles and the guys at Borderlands are really the poster child of what's going on in the downtown area and in Tucson in general. These are some guys who had a dream. Uh, they came in, started a little nano brewery, and now they're at what 15 different outlets that they're that they're selling to, and even into Phoenix. This is a picture of what's happening, wow. not just in this area locally, but all over the downtown core and all over the city of Tucson. came in here a couple of days ago, me for a nice tea and she for some prickly pear beer, we decided that this would be the perfect place to pick this up. Um, so that's why we're here. And these guys, uh, we can we can start on Congress and go all the way up to the con to the freeway and we'll see buildings popping up, going vertical. Somebody told me we've got six or eight different crane towers up in the city right now where we had one several years ago. We're making some changes here. Jonathan has taken the reins and has uh, really uh, righted the ship. Uh, we have a new rear and away board. Don't let the air run out of the room when I say those two words because we got a crew, of, a crew of people who want to engage with the city and make some positive things happen. And we're going to do that. And that's why I don't want to give up the ship right now in terms of stepping away from what I've been doing for the last three years. We're right at the cusp of making some very positive changes. Uh, we've got some tough issues we're going to face. And, and you, if you've paid any attention for the last three years, you'll know that I'm not going to shy away from those, whether it's the Greyhound thing, whether it's the whole prostitution issue, whether it's the Department of Revenue up in Phoenix or the state legislature, whether it's the, you know, the RTA or you name it. We're going to take them on, but we need to put Tucson first. And Tucson first is going to be the mantra. So let me uh, just tell you a little bit about where the campaign is right now. Uh, we have uh, just about matched uh, 800 signatures. Uh, that is the most that the city clerk wants us to turn in. We may turn in a thousand. Uh, we have. Uh, I've got the. the uh, I'm very proud to have Carol West, Richard Carmona, and Bob Walcott as the honorary co-chairs. Uh, the four mayors, uh, Tom and George and Jonathan and Bob, uh, endorsing the campaign. Ron Barber as well has endorsed it. I'm, I'm working on some others right now. I've got the big three: police, fire, and labor who have endorsed the campaign. And the goal was slam the gas pedal down and don't let up. And that's what we're doing. I don't believe that any of the three candidates running are going to get serious challenges going forward. There may be some stunt candidates. Uh, no one has announced against me yet. My purpose in coming out really hard, really aggressively is to say, bring it on if you want to, but it's going to be a waste of your time and a waste of your money because we got some good things going and I'm not going to let off. And so that's why we're here. We all just to enjoy yourselves, drink some prickly pear beer, and enjoy the borderlands, and say thanks to these guys for hosting us, and thank you all for coming out.